There are tens of millions of people in the developing world that are blind due to corneal disease. In India, corneal blindness is a major problem. And in fact, uh, India has the greatest burden of corneal blindness in the world. Our systems and our infrastructure don't really help people with disabilities. Anybody who is physically challenged in any way, we don't have a good social net. It's like half of your life is cut off from you. Patients with corneal diseases have almost lost hope. It's almost like losing your life. When she lost the vision, she was totally afraid. My parents used to help me to cope with it. Vision is very precious. When, when it is not there, we know the value of it. For diseases where they can't diagnose or even treat, here there is hope. LV Prasad Eye Institute is a not-for-profit eye care organization. We have touched about 18 million people through our services. The standard of care here is second to none. And 80% of the corneal blind can be cured with a corneal transplant, with appropriate surgery, and appropriate follow-up. If we want to tackle this effectively, we need a very robust eye banking system for the country. What does an eye bank do? Well, first, it collects, assesses, and processes corneal tissue for corneal transplantation. And the process begins by identifying potential donors in the hospital. We ask for permission from the family for collection of a portion of the eye for corneal transplantation. That portion of the eye is removed and it's brought to the eye bank. The tissue is assessed and once the blood tests are negative, and there's no risk factors, the tissue is placed in a storage medium, and then it's used for corneal transplantation on a recipient patient. So I really love to do surgery because you see results immediately. In 1990, the eye bank here did 25 transplants. Last year, 2,500 transplants. This facility, in fact, is one of the busiest corneal transplant services in the world. We don't have a waiting list for cornea transplant. Sometimes if we have an urgent need for a cornea, if we don't do a surgery in one or two days, the site is going to be lost forever. So we are lucky to have a large supply of corneas whenever they have a need. I do about three to four corneal transplant every week. A typical corneal transplantation, we remove seven to eight millimeter cornea from the patient and that is replaced by a similar tissue from a healthy donor. Tissue is held in place by means of fine sutures. It's definitely rewarding. In the last five years, the outcome of corneal transplantation has improved tremendously. The biggest challenge is educating the patients and making sure that they understand the importance of follow-up care and to link them up with an ophthalmologist who has the ability to take care of a corneal transplant after the patient goes back home. It's not only corneal transplantation, it's also training that is such a big component of reducing the amount of avoidable blindness and corneal blindness in India and the world at large. We need corneal surgeons who can provide not only good surgery to these patients, but also take care of complications in the post-operative period. After patients had surgery, follow-up is critical. A very important part is that we teach the surgeons those skills to look after a patient for the rest of their lives. ISA International is a developmental, non-government organization. We've trained approximately two-thirds of all the active corneal transplant fellows in India. And we've been supporting the training of all the fellows that come through the Alv Prasad Institute since 1992. Our cornea fellowship program is one of the best programs in the world. It is not about producing cornea surgeons. It is about producing world-class cornea specialists. In 1990, there was only 700 transplants done in all of India. And 50% of those transplants, the patient was worse off after they had the surgery than they were before. The association with Eyesight International has been uh, a long and solid one. And in fact, the entire Cornea Fellowship Program is now funded by Eyesight International. And that's been going on for nearly a dozen years.
20 years back I was a fellow here I just fresh out of my residency I joined LV Prasad I Institute as a cornea fellow and my fellowship was also supported by Eyesight International and I'm really thankful for that what will say no dikta I had glaucoma because of it my vision became hazy I was able to see two years ago, without seeing anything, nothing at all. 99% of people who were coming to the hospital, they were expecting to see. Yes, mommy and papa. Yes, I was here. 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 I think it is the change that you bring about in somebody's life that is probably the most gratifying thing that I've experienced so far in the world. When you take the patch off, the patient's eye on the first day, and the patient actually can see and look on the patient's face, he says it all. That's what we're in here for. Before I arrived in India, I was told, Indians won't donate their corneas. You're wasting your time, Paul. I felt that that was an error, and I've been proved correct. Indians will donate, if approached in a culturally sensitive fashion. Seeing a young woman go from a life living in darkness, living in neglect, and living in isolation, to have a corneal transplant so they can see, it's truly an amazing experience. Having a corneal transplant enables them to have an education, to be married, to be a mom, to be part of that, is truly amazing. Totally, completely, it has changed my life. Dr. Prashant Gur treated me, he's given me vision in my life and uh, I'm very thankful, he's a godfather to me. I'm really thankful. What I am today is all because of the fellowship training and the support from Eyesight International. We're doing things that nobody else in the world has done and other people have tried and have failed and we are being successful at doing this and we're making it locally self-sustainable. And we are creating things that'll be here long after we're gone. So not only will current people benefit, but generations to come will benefit from the skill sets that we're transferring and from the learning processes that we're setting up. There are corneal blind all over the world, and our goal is to expand these services beyond India so more people can benefit from corneal transplantation.